basic uh, footwork for 15th century dance, the contrapasso or the doppi sul pe sinistro or sul pe grito, depending. So this is a type of modified double that is basically squeezed in over the music in a slightly irregular and rhythmically interesting way. I want you to think of the music. First, we're going to start in 4-4. So don't think of the music as 1, 2, 3, 4. I want you to think of the music as 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... And 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and step and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and step and we're going to start by just stepping on all of those notes. Let's just put our weight on our right foot. Our left foot is free and we'll just do it slowly. One and two and three and four and 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 one and two and three and four and. Just a note, you should be doing this on the front halves of your feet. Okay, the front halves, um, because in general, shoes don't have heels in this era, so you should not be walking heel toe no matter what. And it will also make it easier if you have fewer points of contact with the ground, less friction. If you need to practice that, rewind, go back. Now I want you to think of the pattern as one and two cut, right? So it's three steps and a cut. One and two cut. And that cut, that cut is specifically undercutting my left foot with my right foot. So if I step with my left foot and I'm on the ball and I'm on the front half of my foot, this makes this really easy. I literally cut under, place the weight on that cutting foot and sink down into the step so that my left foot is now free to continue in this pattern. So think of it as step cut. Let's try that one more time. Weight is on your right foot, left foot is free. Step cut. Okay, now let's try that with the weight on your right, your left foot. Your right foot is free because actually these are done on both the left and the right. So we're going to step right, cut left. Actually, you should already be in the right place. Let's try that again and step right, cut left. One more time, step right, cut left. And as I said, you should be sinking down into that step, sinking into your left or the cutting foot, in this case the left foot, but you should be sinking into the cutting foot. Okay, so let's try one, two, three, cut, or one and two, cut, rhythmically. Weight is on our right foot to start, left foot is free, and we go left, right, left, cut, left, right, left, cut. Okay, let's try that one more time, still with the left foot, and left, right, left, cut. Now, these generally come in threes, sometimes in fours. Contrapassi on the right, doppi sul pe ritto. Weight is on our left foot, right foot is free. So we're going, the rhythm is going to be one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So think of it as one, two, three, cut, one, two, three, cut, one, two, three, cut, pause for now. Ready, and. One, two, three, cut. One, two, three, cut. One, two, three, cut. Pausing. One, two, three, cut. One, two, three, cut. One, two, three, cut. Pausing. One, two, three, cut. One, two, three, cut. One, two, three, cut. Pausing. You may have noticed that I am really sinking down into that foot, right? I'm really sinking into the cutting step so that I'm creating a definite visual difference between my panicked skittering steps, one, two, three, down. Because what we don't want to have happen is for you to end up running, right? There's no kicking here. This should not be a kick. Please, no kicking. Kicking is for, you know, calcio in the square on the Feast of San Giovanni, when they basically play a version of rugby where you kick the ball instead of throw the ball. Here, we it's mostly about shifting your weight and sinking down. If you are enjoying this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe and the notification bell if you want to know when I launch new things. And if you want to do more to support my work, then consider the super thanks button on YouTube or maybe becoming a patron on Patreon, which comes with a whole host of perks 
and extras like access to premium tutorials, multiple hour ones in fact, and discounts on classes. And now back to your regularly scheduled Contessa. Moving on to the next step of the contrapasso. In many of these dances, the contrapasso is possibly the most complicated bit of footwork actually in the 15th century. The contrapasso comes in sets of three. So you'll do three on the left, three on the right, three on the left. And that is in fact what we're going to practice now. So that means you have to somehow, well, change weight from your left to your right and from your right to your left between the, each set. And we do that by taking what would normally be a pause and adding a slow step. I will demonstrate. So if I'm leading with my left foot, looks like this. Left, right, left, cut, left, right, left, cut, left, right, left, cut, step. So now my weight is on my left foot. My right foot is free. I can do that with the right foot. Three sets. Right, left, right, cut, right, left, right, cut, right, left, right, cut, step. So that's how we shift from one set to the other. Let's go ahead and practice. Three contrapassi on the left, three contrapassi on the right, three contrapassi on the left. So weight is on our left foot, right foot is free. Four and three and two and one and left, right, left, cut, left, right, left, cut, left, right, left, cut, step and Right, left, right, cut, right, left, right, cut, right, left, right, cut, step, and left, right, left, cut, left, right, left, cut, left, right, left, cut, step, and... Okay, so now we're going to practice those contrapassi with music. We're going to do three on the left with a step and a pause, three on the right with a step and the pause, three on the left with a step and the pause, etc., etc., until we run out of music. So weight is in our right foot, left foot is free. Little intro, and then we'll go right into it. Ready? And one and two and three and four and one and two and step and one and two and three and four and one and two and step and one and two and three and four and one and two and step and one and two and three and four and one and two and step and And of course, this is a video, so you can rewind and repeat as necessary. Now, that was in four. Let's talk about in six. So if you're doing this step in six, one, the music is in six, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So instead of having to dance on half measures, we're actually going to step or half beats. We're going to step on every beat. So if you have six, quarter beat quarter note beats in a bar of six four one two three four five six one two three four five six we're going to step on all of them so let's go ahead and just practice skittering in six four so that means we're going to be going step 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 so again to practice this skittering in the appropriately uh frantic fashion white should be on the front halves of your feet six for nothing one, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Okay, very nice. Now, let us add that cut in that we have in the version for four. So the timing on this is going to be left, right, left, cut, left, right, left, cut, left, right, left, cut. Because actually the math works out really nicely here. If you have two bars of six, four, that gives you 12 beats, three sets of these four beat motions equals 12 beats. So you're dancing across two bars of music, but you're feeding, fitting three, bar, three measures of the dance step in perfectly. Let's go ahead and put our weight on our left foot, our, excuse me, our right foot, our left foot is free. Let's give you six for nothing. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, cut. One, two, three, cut. One, two, three, cut. We can then repeat that on the right foot. Weight is on our left foot. Right foot is free. Six for nothing. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's how I should have been counting it for you. Let's uh, recount from the left foot in six instead of whatever the hell I was counting. Weight is on your right foot, left foot is free. Six for nothing. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. See how that fits in just perfectly? <laughs> and often in more complicated dances, you'll actually get, <clears throat> don't hate me, one and a half bars of bassa danza, to wit, nine counts of music, um, which is just enough to do two of these doppi sul pe sinistro or pe rito or contrapassi as they're called later on. So let's go ahead and try that. Well, unfortunately, the part that we thought we recorded about this section practicing the bassa danza footwork to music for the contrapasso failed entirely and I didn't realize it until we'd already left. So we're now taking you from Florence to Korea to the comfort of a lovely living room with this beautiful screen behind it so that we can practice the contrapasso in bassa danza. And furthermore, dear viewer, I hope you are not terribly offended by my house attire, my guarnello and my camicia. This is sort of how I like to attire myself when I'm in the comfort of my home. And of course, I pray that no one, dear viewer, is offended by my bare hair in just a simple braid. Where we left off, <laughs> in our intrepid dancers back in Florence, we were about to practice the two contrapassi over one and a half bars of music, which means that at the end of those one and a half bars, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, we will have completed two contrapassi and we will have one beat for a quick little bit of rest. One whole quarter note where you can pause pause and think about what comes next. So that would basically look like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. And there three is that little mini tiny flicker of a pause that I mentioned. So let's go ahead and try that to music now. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. This time with skirts up so you can see my feet. Weight is on your right foot, left foot is free. Six for nothing. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Okay, one more time. Weight is on your right foot, left foot is free. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Okay, let's try that now on our right foot. So weight is on our left foot, right foot is free. Ready? Ready, and here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. Okay, one more time with the right foot. Weight is on our left foot, right foot is free. And one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. Now let's go ahead and try those contrapassi to basta on some music because I realized earlier in the lesson we failed to actually practice to music. So I'm going to put on the music and we're just gonna practice a string of them on the left in a way in which you will never dance them actually in real combat conditions on the ballroom dance floor. And then we will switch our weight to the other foot and dance a string of them on the right, equally unlikely to ever happen in a real dance scenario. Let's go. And one, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Okay, let's now go ahead and switch to the other side. Weight is going to be on the left foot, right foot will be free. String of contrapassi, just like the left ones. Ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That has been your contrapasso lesson in depth. If you have any questions, depending on how you're watching this, either send me 
an email or a message via messenger or through any of the other communication channels open to you or leave a comment under the video below. Until next time, dear companions, noble viewers, may your endeavors be creative and stay tuned for your moment of feline felicity. Farewell. When your kittens are no longer kittens and they are determined to fit in their kitten bed together. Meow. Hello, babies. Meow.